Hey, 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 what's up, everybody, kings and queens? It's Plant Based with Nicole podcast today, and your host, Plant Based Nicole Roche. Um, hello, baby, I see you joined. <laughs> Hi, Pat and Deborah, thank you for joining. I'm, go- I'm about to go live with Stessa Davidson, who is a brand builder, content creator, and she's the founder of the Raw Food Challenge JA. She lost 50 pounds eating raw foods, and we're going to talk about her story and how she uh, started the program to help others. And there's lots of testimonials, so we're going to talk about that. So thank you guys for joining. Hi, Taya on the move. Hi, Ladia. I'm sorry if I'm saying your um, tags wrong. La Layada052. <laughs> thank you guys for joining. Um, I'm excited to interview um, Stasia. I've been watching her page, and she's just so vibrant and energetic. And she's lost so much weight, and she's been sharing how she's done it so other people can also... Um, reap the same benefits. Hello, Nazar7. Thank you for joining. Um, my guest should be coming on soon. Um, just waiting for her. So if you guys could just bear with me, don't go anywhere. <laughs> How's everybody doing? Where are you guys tuning in from? I always like to know where people are. Are you in California, United States? Where are you at? La, okay, La Yadi, <laughs> La Yadi, thank you for giving me the pronunciation, <laughs> uh, uh, thank you, thank you so much for being here, La Yadi, thank you for giving me that, because I, I jacked your name up, and I'm always doing that, I never know how to pronounce anybody's name, hi Taya on the move is from Savannah, Georgia, thank you for joining, all the way from Georgia, Tampa, Florida in the house, yay, I'm from California, you guys familiar with California, the East Bay, Bay Area, yay area. <laughs> I don't, I'm actually wanting, I feel like everybody I've been interviewing or a lot of people I follow are from Florida. Seems like that's where it's at. Oh, you're all the way from UK. Wow. Okay. Oh, you know what? Where is my guest? You love Cali? Hmm. I've been here all my life, so I guess, you know, I'm kind of over it. <laughs> I'm going to try and add my guest because I'm going to get but I'm going to add her. So is everybody on here plant-based? How did you come across my page? Like, since you, how did you find me? Oh, here's Stasia. Hey, Stasia. My guest is now here. Um, I sent you a request. Did you get it? Okay, here we go. Hopefully it hopefully it did it. Okay, come on live. Come on, IG. I sent the request and I accepted your request, Stasia. Did you, let's see. Bear with me, everyone. Sorry. Thank you for your patience. Stasia is unable to join. Stasia, restart your phone and then uh, request me again. This happens sometimes and I just have the guests restart their phone and usually that works. Hopefully you got, you can hear me say that. Hi, Crystal A04. Thank you for joining. Stasia, did you restart your phone, dear? Ladia says she just started the plant base a few months ago, so still learning as much as she can. Oh, yeah, good. You know, I learned a lot from YouTube. Um, That became my second Bible. (laughs) <laughs> so, you know, oh, let's see. She's trying again. So go to YouTube and you can learn so much information on there. Let's see if it works. Come on, Jesus. Fix it. Hi. Hi. Wait, where are you? I don't see you. Can you see me now? No, it's just all black. Okay, hold on. 
What is that? I don't even know what I'm seeing. Oh, okay. There okay. you are. Hi. Hello. How, How are, are you? you? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Pretty lady. <laughs> I love, Thank you so much. I love your... Huh? Thank you for having me. Yes, I really I'm excited to talk to you. Um I love your fire red hair. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay. So, um first before we start the interview, I just want to play a little game. I started last time with my last guest just to test your how fast and accurate are you? You can't this is a game where I'm going to give you choices and you can't think. You got to pick one. No pausing, no hesitation, no thought. Just Pick it. Okay. okay. You ready? Let's yeah. see how fast you are. Let's see if you could do better than my last guess. <laughs> okay. Ready? I'm just going to throw two two words and you pick one. And, and it's a fast speed game. So, fruits, vegetables. Fruits. Raw vegan starch solution. Raw vegan. Sweet potatoes, white potatoes. Sweets. Brown rice, white rice. Brown. Watermelon, pears. Watermelon. Grapes, bananas. Grapes. Dragon fruit, jack, uh, dragon fruit, jack, oh God, I'm messing up. Dragon fruit, jackfruit. Jackfruits. Medicine, natural healing products. Natural, wait, wait. Cooking, natural. Natural, natural he healing products. So medicine or natural healing products. Natural healing products. Cooking, working out. Working out. <laughs> <laughs> Good for you. Woo, she did it. Except for when I messed up. I messed you up because I messed up. Okay. All right. Let's get to our uh, interview. So thank you all that are in the chat. Thank you guys for joining our interview. My name is Nicole Roche Holiday, um, also known as Plant Based Nicole Roche. That's my handle. And I'm going to be interviewing. My guest, Stasia Davidson, all the way from Jamaica today. Um, okay. Stasia, as I, I mentioned, for those that weren't here in the beginning, she's a brand builder, a content creator, and the founder of the Raw Food Challenge JA. So we're going to talk about that a little bit later. First, we're going to start off about talking about her journey. So, okay, I don't know how I came across you. I, I might have seen someone interview you or something. And I was like, let me go to her page. And I was like, oh, look at her. She's so cute, you know what I'm saying? All these little before and after pictures and you're just, your page is so vibrant. Um, so I know you, you went raw and you lost 50 pounds. Before we get into that, uh, first of all, that's amazing. That's really, that's, that's awesome. And you look Thank great. You. Um, how was your diet before, when did you do the raw, the raw food challenge? When was this? All right, my first ever, the first. Um, the first time I ever did the raw was um, for my 40th birthday, which was oh. in 2020. So August 2020 was the first I did the raw. But I started the vegetarian, vegan, whatever, you know, people call it different things. But I started the vegan slash vegetarian um, diet in January of 2019. So I took okay. it up a notch for my birthday. And oh. I did the yeah. That's what that's what's up. So you were doing vegetarian. Vegetarian. When I say vegetarian, I actually mean what persons call vegan. But I say vegetarian because okay. um so so no 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 dairy, no fish, none of that. So the same So thing. you were you were doing what the real vegetarian definition is. Right. Because so usually the veg Vegetarian is just about the the diet, where vegan is about animal rights and right, the diet. Right. So you're, so you're saying it the, the right word, way. So I use the word vegan only because of the SEO purposes. That's what people generally know it as. So right. I use that word. Um, but it's really vegetarian because I'm not like a stick of four in terms of I do have products in terms of a bag. I will have things that I had before all of this. So I'm not yeah. going to throw it away. <laughs> yeah, that's that's why um, I, I introduce myself and I say I'm a plant-based or vegetarian because I, I did it for health more so. 
Right. You know. That's what I, yeah, I did it for health. Um but I do use the word because I understand um the SEO purposes. I understand that that's what people are typing in when they're looking for content. Right. And I don't Same want here. my content not to be seen or for people to learn what they could learn because I say right. right. You know. <laughs> exactly. Same thing for me when I'm posting, I might put hashtags right. with the vegan word because just for search purposes, otherwise we'll just be overlooked. <laughs> so, um, okay, so you were vegan first and how long were you vegan before you went, oh. I mean, vegetarian? How long were you vegetarian, vegan and before you went raw the first time? Okay. So, all right. Um, so January 2019, um and I was on that journey until um, August 2020 when I went um, raw for the first time. Oh, so, so the the vegetarian was starting in 2019. Is okay. Right, right, right. And then I went raw for my birthday, and it was supposed to be 40 days raw. And then I just kept going, kept going. So right now, though, even though I would consider myself in technical terms, I would be considered high raw. Mm -hmm. um, so while I eat mostly raw, that means fresh fruits and vegetables, mostly fruits, but um, vegetables as well. And I do at times will have um, cooked plant-based meals or cooked yeah. vegetarian meals. Yeah. So what, what made you want to do the raw? Was it just you just wanted to do it for your birthday <laughs> or... <laughs> So, okay, so I wanted to do it for my birthday because I always want to find a challenge for my birthday. So whether it is, um, I always try to challenge myself for my birthday, um, do something different. And for this time, because I was already on that wellness, um, vegan, vegetarian, flat <laughs> journey, mm -hmm. I said, why not? I, I don't even know how I came, across, why it came into my, maybe because I'm on that journey and I'm following pages and seeing yeah. different things and saying, you Inspiring. know what, let me do that. Let me do mm -hmm. that. Um, and I did. And uh, I and have just pounds. been doing it. <laughs> Yeah. So how long, how long did it take you to lose? How long did you do the first raw? Like before you started incorporating cooked foods again, how long did you stick to all raw? Hmm. Wow. I, how long did I stick to it? I'm not mm. even sure. I know it was more than a hundred days. Oh, I know wow. It was That's a long time. 100. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah, awesome. Yeah. The longest I've, yeah. the longest I've gone was 42 days. So a hundred, that's really good. So, um, so what made you start deciding to like incorporate some of the cooked foods back and now you're more high raw? What made you decide to bring that back I in? Think, okay. All right. Here's the thing. I feel I'm, I'm because I, you notice when you ask cook or workout, I said workout. <laughs> so yeah. I'm not, so I'm not the kind of, um, I, I'm not, I don't like to cook. A friend of mine. Yeah. Would, would joke and say that raw food did not choose, um, I didn't choose raw food, raw food chose me because <laughs> I'm not into the cooking. Even before all of this lifestyle, I was not into the cooking. So um, by being able to eat fresh fruits um, just the way it is, I think that's awesome. So for yeah. me, once I have, it's not really a problem for me, because I don't bring food into my house that I'm not supposed to be eating. Right. So it's not a problem for me. Where, where I decided to incorporate um, cooked foods again is when I actually go out. Oh, yeah. So if that I was sense. home all the time, I would be good. <laughs> as long yeah. as I have my fruits, I'd be good. I wouldn't go searching for cooked food. So it's, right. it's not like that, right? So it's just that I know that there are times that I'm going to be um, going certain places. And while I will plan, mm -hmm. um, if I'm going somewhere for an extended time, um, sometimes they, they don't have anything and you may have to have steam veg with something else. And then there's mm -hmm. the other side now, the creative side of me that, um, so I, you know, like, I'd want to taste certain things just because, 
you know, you just, just want you to want taste to. it. Yeah, just, it's just you because want you want to taste it. So, um, so while I don't do that with the meat and the dairy and all of that, yeah. there are certain yeah. cooked foods that I would still want to taste. So mm -hmm. I give myself like a 95, 5%, um, 95, 5%. So um, let's say in, in practical terms, so people can understand what I mean. Like for the, the month, I'd probably eat cooked food twice for the month. Okay. So you're, it's yeah. real little. Yeah. It's Oops. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. My, so I give myself that leeway, no problem. Just in case I'm going. Sorry, no problem. I didn't hear. Just, I didn't hear the last twenty seconds because oh, my earpiece okay. came out. Sorry. <laughs> okay, no problem. So I was saying I give myself that leeway in case I'm going out with friends. So even though sometimes I go out and I stick to my um, my dad, there are times um, that I do give myself the leeway to have something cooked as long as it's still under the plant-based umbrella i think Vegetarian. that and i think that's like the, i think that's like the perfect way to do it because it's it's just it gives you a nice balance like mm -hmm. to to get the benefits of eating the high raw the full raw but then if you want to have some cooked foods here and there you can yeah. there's no rules yeah. there's no contract yeah. you sign I you can do whatever you want to do right it's not a religion it's not a religion you know it's not a sin if you <laughs> <laughs> right exactly <laughs> you you do whatever you want to do so i like yeah. that you have the balance because i also i'm in a season right now where my body is craving more raw so i'm eating mm -hmm. more raw and then sometimes i might have cooked too and that's okay if i do you know okay. um okay so after you let's see okay so after you when you went raw you lost 50 pounds. What were you eating? Give me a sample of, oh, I, before, I know, I, I kind of know I what you ate. While I was raw. So the first, when you first went raw and you lost mm -hmm. the 50 pounds during that time, um, okay, I, so I, it's a, I, I, it was oh, actually I, a journey. So I, um, cause you know, once you change your diet, um, you start losing the weight, especially if you're eating better. So from the January 2019, I was I had started losing weight. Um, okay. Going raw now just um, helped it. Helped, especially with the waistline. <laughs> especially with the waistline, it helped where that is <laughs> where that is concerned. But in terms of when I just started um, in January 2019. Because I was transitioning, I had a lot of nuts. Mm, it, after okay. a while, I realized that uh, the nuts is it's it's not it. It's not it. I realized that um, I was craving more fruits after a while, and then I, after I started realizing. Um, it should not be that way, but I can understand because I'm transitioning and, you know, you want to be as close to the, the meat as possible. Yeah. But after a while, nuts were not, it was not, the nuts was not, um, my body was not taken to the nuts. Um, and I was eating, yeah, I was eating too many, too much of it. Um, mm. So after a while, I became a fruitarian, you would say, because I was only eating fruits. I didn't eat vegetables at one point. Oh. And then after now, um, I started in because I didn't like vegetables even before. Um, mm -hmm. I didn't. So so now I had to, so I started to eat the vegetable, but I had to incorporate sauces on it. So had to make sauces to put on it so no i'm good with the salads as long as i have my sauce so it's, it's so it's so there are certain things that i did not eat before so even though i always loved fruits there are certain fruits that i did not eat it's weird melon i did not eat melon what? um it's yeah because i didn't i don't know uh, it's it's recently I started to think why didn't I like melon and I realized it was because uh, it was annoying to eat because of the seeds but that's a problem oh, that yeah. we have in Jamaica but um, that's a problem that persons abroad would be happy to have fruit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Being annoyed by it. 
but now I'm grateful for it and I just spit it out, spit out the seed. Yeah. And I realized that that was the issue. And now I'm good with melon. In fact, I re I, you know, I really have melon as a part of my day. My coconut water first thing in the morning and then my melon after. Um, as long as I have those two, that's the order that it goes. Once it's once I have those two, it's my coconut water, then my melon. Um, that's how I start my day with those. And then, yeah, so it's I'm mostly fruits. I do have a salad a day um, after after noon because I do fruits before noon, and then I have a salad um, after, of course, with my dressing um, sauce. And then I'll have fruits for the rest of the day as well. So I'm mostly fruits, but I have a salad for the day. Some days, of course, not every day is the same. Some Every day is the same in terms of fruits before noon. But in terms of having whether one salad or no salad, um, that may vary. But yeah. <laughs> is that how you're eating now as well? Or that's been? That's, not what, that's what I'm eating now. Fruits before okay. noon. I have a salad afternoon and then um, either, because I listen to my body. If I don't feel for anything to eat after that, I don't eat. But if I do, more than likely it's going to be um, fruits. But if I do go on the road, I may not. That's when I'll have an, probably another um, salad or meal, depending on what's available where I'm going. Yeah, something but, a little yeah. heavier. Yeah something i love the way you eat it just sounds so like refreshing and just light <laughs> you know it, it makes you so feel good mm -hmm. but yeah, so I you do, have, i do do you have did That's you have any that. other benefits go ahead oh sure 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 um so apart from the weight loss and the reduction in my waistline i have increased in energy my energy increased mental clarity improved and I'd like to say I was happy before, but I feel like I'm on a different level of mm. like, I feel like <laughs> I'm on a yeah. different level. People always say, it's what you eat. What, what in your food? Why are you so happy? Why are <laughs> you just so, you know, in the air, you know? But yeah, I yeah. feel that it does, uh, my food affects my mood. Um, I can't think of any, well, I mean, I do my personal development and my morning routine. I'm not sure if it's just a combination of all those activities that um, give me this joy and happiness or if the food has something to do with it. But I don't know. <laughs> but whatever it is, I'm just going to keep doing what I'm doing because I just yeah. love being happy. <laughs> yeah. And I commend you because you you and I was chatting one day. You was waking up at like 5 a.m. or you was like I gotta go I gotta go work out and I'm like girl, I wake, I wake 5 up um I wake up no I was awake at that time but I wake up before that so um I wake up at 4 a.m. Hmm. sometimes at um because I don't use an alarm clock, I don't use an alarm at all. I allow my body to um to wake me up and I realize um in the past few months or weeks i realized that it wakes me up like 3 30 wow. 3 40 in the mornings yeah and the wow, first thing like my friend Cherie. <laughs> so it does yeah yeah so so i wake hey, up Cherie. early but i go Girl, to my bed I, early as well what time do you go to bed ah well there's no set time but before 10 p.m Oh, that's good. So, You're very um, committed. so sometimes at eight o'clock, I'd be like, "Hey, I, I'm going to bed now," <laughs> and people that's are good. like, "What?" So yeah, <laughs> man, that's discipline going right to bed. there. That's discipline. Yeah, I, just, I love that. I really I, just listen to my body, and if my yeah. if, I'm, if my body says bedtime, it's bedtime, and I don't right. sleep with the phone in the room. The phone is in another room. Um. So yeah, I'm very. That's good. Yeah. <laughs> So I have some <laughs> wellness habits that, yeah, people would be like, you are weird, but yeah. <laughs> no, that's not weird. That's discipline right there. Um, thank you, everyone that's here. I just want to say thank you, everyone. Hey, Cherie, I saw you. My friend Cherie just joined. She, you remind Hi. me of her with the the uh, your discipline. Like, she wakes, she oh. wakes up at like 
uh, four in the morning as well. And yeah, I'm like, four, I don't know how y'all do it. Because I have because I have a I have a list of things that I have to do, you know, to start my day. So four is good. Yeah. I do my reading, uh, you know, my affirmations and mm -hmm. I work out. So I have that little, you know, things that I yeah. have to do before. It's and speaking of working out, like, what is your, I know you love to dance. You're like me. I love to dance. I've always, I haven't taken any dance classes in person, but I do do uh, dance uh, classes on YouTube. But I used to take dance all the time, African, salsa, all that kind of stuff. So I know you love to dance. Do you um, do any other workouts as well, or do you just dance? Uh, so no, before, um, okay, so I, I was a sports person before at university, high school. I used to play sports. And then I stopped after leaving university. So that's how I even started putting on weight. Um, but after that, um, I would do gym. I'd go to the gym. I'd um, mm. hit workouts and those things. But I find now that, because I, as I say, I'm listening to my body. I find now that I am ease. So um, I prefer the exercises, um, the walking, the sprints. So I would walk, then sprint. Walk, mm. that's how I... Mm -hmm. So that's, those are, that's what I'm doing now. I'm in that phase of walk sprints in the morning. Um, so I'm in that phase, not saying that I... And I'm looking towards yoga as well. Um, and so I'm in that phase... But I would do, I, I would definitely have one or two days that I would incorporate maybe some strength training in terms of like weights yes. and um, heat. Because I remember, um, because I'm a sports person, I love those kind of things. But I realize that I'm not in that phase right now. I'm in the walk and sprint phase and I'm just going to honor um that phase that i'm in right now and the, yeah. and the dancing the dancing <laughs> yeah and what kind of classes are you doing like african only, dancing i, or? I only do the dance hall right now yeah <laughs> because because yeah. a part of it is not just for working out purposes but it's also because i'm in that i'm just um that phase of being bold and one of the things is because I, i'm not a christian now but i grew up as a christian and one of the things um that i grew up not doing was um dancing in mm. that dancing because for me not that for anybody else but for me it was like a sin to be oh, doing yeah. that so now i'm in the phase where everything that i am insecure about or that i did not want to do i'm in that phase where i'm pushing myself to do it mm -hmm. so that's mm -hmm. how i started the um doing the dance art classes because it's a part of me being bold and confident mm -hmm. it's a part of that you know journey so and it's very it's very freeing it's very yeah. therapeutic like for me, dancing is therapeutic. It's just, it, it makes me feel good. It's fun. And I don't even, I don't even think of it. As, it's not even exercise to me. It's just fun. You know? It is fun. It is fun. <laughs> I saw one of your posts and uh, you were talking about how people say eating healthy is too expensive. Can you touch on that real quick? Like how, how you feel when you hear people say that eating healthy is too expensive? What's the alternative? Well, Ah, you know, like I, so the first question, the first thing I say most of the times is, so is the hospital bill, so are medications, you know, those ah. things are also expensive. And right. then now I go into, um, there are ways that you can cut the price, but I always say that whatever is prioritized gets done. And mm. I realize that with everything else. So if we push health, and what um and decide that this is the way we want to eat we're going to we are going to get it done you know that's just how the brain works that's just how the brain works um it wants to solve problems so if we mm -hmm. prioritize eating a certain way the the brain now will say how can instead of saying i can't do this because it is expensive train yourself to say how can I make this happen? And when you mm. ask your brain a question, then the brain goes searching into the atmosphere, into the universe to decide, how can I make this happen? So when you say it's too expensive, 
you kind of cutting it off there. So say, how can I make this happen? Guess how you can make this happen in a variety of ways. One, you probably can decide, okay, where else have I been spending my money? Can I cut from there and put it mm. into food if yes. I deem eating healthy as a priority? So that's one way you could look at it. Another way you could look at it is, um, could I make some more money? Um, mm -hmm. Could I um, do a, could I add a hustle or a side job that only helps to pay for my food? Mm -hmm. um, do I ask my boss for a, if, for a raise? You know, when you start deciding that this is how you want to, 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 to live, then you decide that how can I make this happen because it's a priority for me. So I have yes. to make this happen. And then you find yes. other ways as well. If it's going to be a lifestyle, then you can decide, okay, I realize that I'm eating a lot of salads. Maybe I need to plant some stuff. You know, you can plant things and have them in your kitchen, on your roof, depending on where you live, um, in, the, in the ground. Depending on where you live, you can also decide that, okay, I can plant certain stuff. If you're yeah. really serious, because as I say, you know, if you want this, to, if you're passionate about this thing and if you're prioritizing this thing, then you're going to be coming up with creative ways to make this life style yes. work for you. Yes. So you may decide that, okay, who else wants to do this? Should I... Um, get some community members together and say, okay, you plant pepper, you do lettuce, you do that, and then we work together to make this happen. But as I said before, if it is a priority, it will get done. Whether it's you have to do a side hustle, whether it is you have to cut your hair money or your, 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 your nails money, you will get it done. Whether it is you have to um, upskill so you can get a promotion, or directly say to your boss, if you realize that, okay, in order for me to eat this way, I need $50 more um, per week. I believe that I am working hard. I'm doing this. Can I get a $50 raise? You get yeah. me? So yeah. you have to, yeah, it just has to be a priority. And then you will find, you will make it happen. And I know that because there are persons who um, do things and f um, for their children when they don't have it right mm. they don't have mm -hmm. it but they say it's a priority i have to get right. the books i have to get the shoes i have to get the clothes mm. for my daughter or my son yes. because it's a priority and you get it done so in the same yeah. way prioritize your health prioritize yes. what you eat and you will i have all faith in you that you yes. will find an answer and you will get it done amen you better preach girl <laughs> yes you guys got to think of your body as an investment if you don't have good health, you ain't good. For, you ain't good for nothing, right? So your it your is. your health is your wealth. Your health is priority. So I like all the things she says. You know, it might not. What? You might need to decrease some of your other expenses. Yeah, and increase your um, expenses for your. That's going to go towards your health. Mm -hmm. What's more important, your health or going yeah, to Starbucks? <laughs> What will it profit a man or a woman to gain the whole to gain world, the whole world the and yet lose to his own soul. To, to enjoy it, you know? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So what's more important, huh? Yeah. Going to the movies? You have to wait. Get... You have to wait. You have to wait. Yeah. Because as somebody who knows, who has seen firsthand what sickness can do to a body, you know, I witnessed the deterioration of my father's yes. body. So I see mm. firsthand what sickness can do to our body. And, yeah. and also what it costs, the hospital bills, you know, even for my mom. Um, just how much it costs to go to the hospital. Right, like, right. especially if you don't have insurance and all those things. It's very expensive. Right. So, yeah, I would say it's an investment. <laughs> yeah. So when people say, everybody, when people say eating healthy is too expensive, well, how about going to the hospital is more expensive? Okay. <laughs> so, yes. Okay. So how, thank you for sharing all that. Thank you for breaking that down. Um, and thank you for anybody else. Hey, boo. Hey, Miss Veganette. <laughs> um, I know how to get protein, but for f anybody who's watching and that will watch, that's the no big problem. question, right? Uh, how do you get your protein eating a vegan diet? You know, um, first of all, I, 
how, <laughs> how do you get your protein? What do you eat okay. for your protein? So first of all, um, let me just say that a lot of persons are have the misconception. There is protein in fruits and vegetables. That's the, that's the first thing. There are, there are protein in fruits and vegetables. Um, and depending on your lifestyle, um, I think we're actually overeating protein. We're eating too mm -hmm. much of it. But um, depending on your lifestyle, if you're an athlete or and you may need more, then you can eat more of the good fats, the high-fat fruits like your avocado. Yeah. Um, you mm -hmm. can get your protein from coconut jelly. You can get it from um, olives, aki, you know. Um, you can also get it from your nuts and your seeds as well. Yes. So you, you're good. You're good. But remember, it's also in your, um, your leafy greens um, mm -hmm. and your other fruits as well, just in a smaller quantity than the higher fat fruits. Yes. There's, like, if you're just looking at, like, vegetables, for instance, like kale, spinach, and broccoli have a lot of protein just right there. You know, um, if people are worried about it, you can have quinoa, the nuts and seeds, mm -hmm. like she said. Um, avocados um do avocado have they have protein in them yeah man the really... high fat fruits like your avocado and your okay. aki those high fat that yeah they mm -hmm. they have it the coconut jelly meat um mm -hmm. that's high in protein as well and beans and beans and yeah mm -hmm. yeah do you eat beans um when i'm eating the cooked um whenever yeah. Yeah. so i like the chickpeas yeah. or, or yeah i do Okay, Miss Lady Raw Boss. So, Stasia, my guest, is the founder of the Raw Food Challenge JA. First, what does JA stand for? Jamaica. That's the short name oh, for Jamaica. Yeah. Oh, okay. I thought it was like something had to do with, no, I don't know, something that's, personal. That, that's, oh, duh. that's what people normally call Jamaica. And I just added, even though, um, all right, you can continue. I was going to say, even though um, the, the movement is outside of Jamaica, I still put the JA there because that's where I'm from. <laughs> yeah, I'm so, I feel special right now because I'm like, why didn't I know that? I didn't, I didn't realize that that was, duh, that's the abbreviation for Jamaica. But I was just thinking it was something more personal toward, about you. <laughs> Stephanie, um, Stephanie Staples says the body doesn't need protein. It needs amino acids that you can definitely find in plants. Yes, that's definitely more important. Right. It's about how many amino acids you're getting in a day. So yes, thank you for mm -hmm. saying that. Chickpea too. Yep, chickpeas and all the other beans are good too. So, okay, let's talk about this um, Raw Food Challenge JA that you created. What inspired this? Like, when did you come up with this um, challenge? And like, what made okay. you want to help I others? Um, for my, as I was telling you, for my 40th birthday, I decided to go 40 days raw. But what I did do, I told my social media um, friends, followers, friends, and I asked them who, you know, I invited them to join me on the 40 days raw um, challenge. 80 persons said that they would, which surprised me because I was like, I am wow. crazy. I've been 40 days raw and 80 persons said that they would join me. You have no, so you have 80 other persons who are, who are as crazy as I am. No, <laughs> and I have... about, not all the 80 persons who um, said they would join, join about 50 persons joined and not all That's 50 who joined um, ended for the 40 days. But um that's how it actually started because after the 40 days i sent out a feedback form you know asking how was it and then i was just astonished at the the testimonials you know from losing weight to um people psoriasis being cleared to just wow. a host of other you know um pcos symptoms being alleviated um, mm. just a host of like some really serious stuff that's, you know, people were seeing progress with. So they were like, you have to keep this again. So I was like, okay. But they were like, yes, but we want you to have it again because we see the results, but 40 days is too long. <laughs> <laughs> and that's how, that's how the 21 days raw started. So even though that was, that ended in August of 2020, I thought about how I wanted to 
to, to do it. And I decided in May of 2021 that I was going to do 21 days raw. And that's how basically raw food challenge is started in May of 2021 um, with the 20 day, 21 days raw, the first 21 days raw challenge. And it was in my head, I only, um, I was only planning to have it once per year. So I was like, okay, every May, I'm going to have a 21 days raw challenge. That was what was in my head, right? But after the 21 days raw challenge, a um, person saw results and they were like, okay, so what's going to be for June? You need to have one in June. And then their friends mm. and family were like, we want to join as well because we saw what it did for our you know, family members. So we want to join as well. So I had one in May and then july and we've just been having it ever since because of the results um that yeah. people have been seeing um right now though i decided okay this monthly thing is a, it's a bit too <laughs> a um it's a lot so what i decided for this year i decided that i would do it um First, I started with every other alternately, and then now I decided for 2023 specifically, I'm going to do it four times for the year. So I know for sure, yeah, four, right, four times for the year. So one in January, um, I'll, uh, one, in, one in August, because that's where my birthday, that's where it all started, and one in yes. October. I have not yet decided on the other one is probably going to be in march so january march august and um october oh okay this is exciting um before i go on with that challenge hold on let me just stacy 39 i would like to do that too she's going to be 40 next year um well you you need to join in her uh january so uh, Ross challenge, challenge. january one but you can start registering from now because the earlier you register um the, you have more time to prepare your mind to start watching videos, reading, whatever you have yeah. to do to get yourself prepared so that when January comes, January 1 comes, you are ready to go. Um, so for those who want to know, you can click the link in my bio to register. It's US um, $57 to join. Um, you may ask, so what... what what we pride ourselves on is our system of accountability and support because a lot of us know what to do. We know we need yeah. to work out. We know we need to eat better. We know we need to do all of that. But it's not happening because right. a lot of the times when you're making a transition, and especially when it's something like 180 degrees different from what you were doing before, you need, you need um, a community of support and accountability. Yes people who are on the same mission as you because you may not find that in your house you may be the only one on a wellness journey in your house so when you can you know you can um tap into another community um outside of your home it's it, it really does wonder and and yeah the members of the raw fam that's one of the things um that's why they keep coming back because that's one of the things that they pride the most the accountability system because we have a private whatsapp group and we, we do a daily check-in so we say did you do your raw sweat raw sweat is you know some sort of intentional physical activity so that you can sweat um did you eat fully raw today did you you know so um so there's an accountability system and then you're also paired with an accountability partner for added accountability and then oh. we have a weekly zoom session as well so oh that's nice yeah check-in session as well so so it's an account it's a three three um tiered accountability system the group the zoom weekly zoom and the um the accountability partner so um the first one you said repeat the first one again january okay so no. you have the the, the group okay the group accountability because we have a whatsapp group so during the day oh, WhatsApp. If, okay right so you can share the meals that you're having because sometimes even though we send out um we don't do a meal plan but we give you what you're allowed to eat in terms of for this challenge um what you're allowed to eat what you're not allowed to eat but even though it's clear as day 
you still have persons who will say, oh, can I eat this? Can I eat that? So you're allowed to ask questions in the group. Um, okay. Sometimes you may share something in the group and then somebody in the group will be able to say, you know, you're not you're supposed to eat that though because you didn't even mm -hmm. realize that you're not. So even though it's there, you know, because you're used to certain mm -hmm. things, you don't even mm -hmm. realize that, oh, I'm not supposed to be eating that. So, so yeah, it really helps. It really helps. And then you also see ideas from other persons. So while yes. I am the, I am the fruits as mother nature, um, <laughs> prepared it. That's how I eat it apart from when, so anything, most times whenever you see me have anything else, it's, um, it's purchased, <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but, um, for the, but for the most part, I, I will just stick with Mother Nature. But if you yes. see me with anything nice, otherwise, I purchase it. <laughs> right, right. So like planting wraps or any of those things, more than likely, I purchase it. Not that I'm unable to make it, but mm, more than likely, mm -hmm. I have purchased it. Um, so you may see things in the group and that now inspires you to try to, to do other things. But at the same time, for those who... Um, are like me i would say to them stick to the basics fresh is best anyway you yes, know yes. fresh is best anyway you don't have to be a raw gourmet um chef you can <laughs> just eat the fruit as is in fact it's the fruits best way salads. to do it yeah fruits <laughs> fruits salads and yeah. stephanie and stephanie staple said that challenge worked wonders for me Good job, yes, Stephanie. It, I'm it, glad it worked for you. In fact, um, uh, just, to, just to add on that, Stephanie is one of those who started in May and had continued because of the benefit, benefits that she saw. In fact, if I may, you know, share a, just a portion of Stephanie's story, she her Please. she has fibroids and um her fibroids shrunk by one centimeter during the um, oh my the, goodness. right because of the change Amazing. in that and also her um she had cysts on both of her ovaries and the cysts were um what you would say disappeared or healed Ooh, uh, how so, yeah. Yeah. so <laughs> wow so so yeah it's, that's amazing god is good yeah that so it's raw raw foods are like you know what it does it's it's god god it, medicine nature's it, medicine yeah because you know at the end of the day if you feed yourself in the right way the body will do what it was meant to do you know exactly and Amen. the body was meant to, to 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 take care of itself to protect itself yep. to heal itself yep yep and that's what raw food does the raw foods don't heal you the raw foods right. allow your body to heal itself, you know? Yeah, it fuels um, your body and then your body ha, um, has the ability to do what it was made to do. Exactly. Um, Stasia418 says, do you eat cook meals as well? She actually covered this in the beginning and she said that she eats probably like two cook meals per month. So she's very, very high raw, just to answer that question. And then Stacy 39 pounds says, what's the cost of your program? Fifty-seven dollars. Okay, fifty-seven U.S. dollars. Yeah. Okay. And all you have to do is click the link in my bio, and you will see um, twenty-one days raw. Or yeah, you'll see. You'll know what to click. <laughs> yeah, and that's good that you got. You have the group, the accountability. Um, because again, it's because sometimes I realized it's hard that because initially when I started that, you know, I, I was trying to put a lot of things in there, and I realized no, I'm taking out all these things because what re people really need. Um, you, you give them all the information. That's that's really not. Yes, it's important, and that's why I put mm -hmm. things on my YouTube because before I was feeding information. I was like, no, I put it on my YouTube. Watch the videos because I know it's not the information that's going to transform you. It's not. Right. It's a decision that you've made, and then to be a to have that accountability and support system. That is what you need so that you can feel happy and healthy and confident in your body amen yeah. that is so so true so you are high raw but when you do your challenges you're doing right. it with them right right, right. fully right. raw right okay right. good <laughs> this is um a random question and then i'm going to go back to the um the, the challenge but real quick you um i interviewed dr arise before for my season one 
you guys are you guys friends is he family member how do you know uh, dr arise he's like the godfather of raw foods if you guys don't know him he's like oh my whole that meeting oh my gosh so um we were actually going to have an event in jamaica and then the whole covid um mm. occurred right so we were planning to have a um an event in jamaica and that happened but then instead of having the event in jamaica um he thought of instead why not have a have it, have something in panama instead because uh, right so that's how that whole thing started with planning for the event in jamaica and then i'm going to panama to experience everything myself so that when we were planning for the um the retreat in panama you know we had a, a, we had footage we had we had things that we could show and all of that so for me yes i i learned so much from him he's like a mentor i learned mm-hmm. so much from him knowledge but how yeah. did you meet him how did you meet him though like where, how did you come when to- i went to panama that was the first oh, time that i you just that I oh, met okay him. in person okay. right before it was um whatsapp and zoom yeah okay oh yeah he's amazing i i want to interview him again he's he's dope so um you already talked about how people can join your challenge you talked about the next one which is january 1st um when do when do you say the deadline was to register or is there a deadline okay uh, i didn't say um december 23 Okay, December. So that you can have so a week to you know, prep your mind. Yes. So if anybody watching or that will watch is interested in changing your life, y'all yes, need yes, to jump on yes. this. Yeah. Yeah, man. Raw this food, raw me. food, raw food is the truth, man. I'm telling it y'all, is, I've is. done it so many times and I feel amazing when i eat fully raw so you guys should check it out mm-hmm. she's had so many client testimonials people have healed their bodies people have lost weight i was going to ask you would you mind if my, one my page that has the um raw food challenge ja um you can check out my instagram page at raw food yeah. challenge okay. and i'm going to be putting her her handles when i post this live everybody okay. i'll put her handles in the post Just go click on her links and follow her, and then go register. Um, I was going to ask you: Would you mind if one person, if anybody is in here that went through your challenge, one person can just talk about their experience briefly? Would you feel as about long that? as they're willing? As long as they're willing to, I'm good with that. As long as okay. they're willing to, I can't see who is on, so you would have. I am on. I'm just going to throw so it out would there. Have to, so if you're on, just say the yeah. request. um yes for cuz yeah send me a request if you're on here and you want to just come on here and talk about your experience on the 21 day raw challenge um just briefly um if you're if you're not okay with it that's fine too you could throw your results in the chat if you like um let's see so that was what i wanted to do okay so what is the um it entails so you talked about you know you guys keep each other accountable you do the zooms you partner up and then um you provide also, them so i would check you tricked cuz okay so for me even though it's a raw food challenge i mm-hmm. like to use the word raw as an acronym for right. um ripe awakened and wholesome so we're taking a holistic approach to wellness so we want to make sure we 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 we, we want you to understand that you could be eating raw and you're stressed and you get sick anyway because mm. you need to have so so there are other elements of wellness you know there is the physical activity so we mm. want you to be working out as well and as i say working out don't mean um going to the gym it can mean dancing it can mean um walking you know just being intentional about your physical um activity and then there are other things you know intentional deep breathing um going out getting some sun if you are in the tropics <laughs> um it can mean um having um spending time with people that are good for your soul you know cuz your relationships mm-hmm. a lot of persons don't realize that that's also a part of wellness if you're in toxic relationships that's not yeah. good for you you know um a study was actually done that um showed that persons 
who were sick took a longer time to heal when they were in toxic relationships um so so yeah mm. so you have to take a holistic approach to wellness because yes. when there is one element out of sync it affects you as well because you have persons who will say oh that person was healthy they ate right and all of that but hey mm -hmm. um what else were they not doing were they sleeping or were they were they staying up all night working you know so so you have to just realize that you have to take a holistic approach to wellness. yeah not just diet. But eating does well eating is great but try to implement the other elements of wellness as well your mind <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah so um br i'm going bringing our uh interview this wonderful interview to a close but i want you to just talk about um oh so stephanie brand... stephanie has stephanie put her um testimonial oh. in the chat oh let me yeah. let me read it stephanie staple <clears throat> stephanie staple says i'd hop on but i'm on the road so i will type here I've lost 25 pounds overall, fibroids shrunk one centimeter, wow, and cysts cleared from one ovary. I'm sleeping better and bursting with energy. It's life-changing. Good for you. Thank you so Stephanie. much for that's that, That's amazing. Stephanie. Wow, that's, that's, no, if that's not going to make you want to do this challenge, I don't know what else is. <laughs> <laughs> you guys jump on this. Make sure you register. This is a life changing experience. Twenty one days. You could do twenty one days. You can do you can it. Do 21 um, days. I, yeah, you can do twenty one days. And because you know, we share the principle. I share it on YouTube as well. It's no secret. Um, so I share mm -hmm. the principles so that even after the challenge, you can practice the principles. Even if you don't go fully raw after the challenge, you know the principles so you can practice it. You can say, Okay, let me just eat um fruits before noon then, you know? So at least you're implementing more fruits and vegetables than you were before. You know, um, let me cut out some of the things that I were eating um, that I know, that I know, that I know is not good for me. You know, mm -hmm. but yeah. Yes, exactly. When does it, it start? It starts January oh, ahead, 1, Jen. but registration mm -hmm. has already been open. So all you have to do is click the link in my bio at Pastor Davidson or on the Raw Food Challenge JA page um, and register. Yes, and I'll be putting If you have any in problems post. registering, send me a DM and we'll work, we, we'll work it out. Good. Yes, you guys. I'll put her handles in the, uh, the description once I post this live. Um, so just really quick, and then I want to bring it to a close. Talk about your brand building. Like, how, how did you get the name Raw Boss? And would, talk about you your know? brand building. All right. So for Raw Boss, though, that really came about because of doing the challenges. And mm. my Raw Fab members started to call me Raw Boss. I think it was Stephanie <laughs> who first said Raw Boss. And everybody was like, <laughs> Raw Boss, Raw Boss. And I was like, hey. You know, you like it. Uh, the community, so the community named me and then I've just taken it on because I want it to be more than just the fact that I am hosting raw food challenges, but I really want to, to share, um, to, to really share the whole, to share the whole raw food, um, liberty and, and boss it up you know <laughs> so to, to make uh yeah so really to yeah to to, to 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 make persons more aware to to create a resource cent, resource center whether it is on youtube or just to, to you know to share the resources um whatever you need to transition so whether it is the books that you need to the curation of those books whether it is um the tools that you may need, the curation of those. And I do have curated books and um, book lists and, um, and the tools that you, 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 know, you know, you may want to use as well. So once you, um, once you, once you follow, once you check out my YouTube in the description, you'll see the curation of all the, the books and stuff that. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. You guys go oh, check everything out. Oh, in terms of brand builder now. So um, in yes. my other life, <laughs> in <laughs> my other life, I, I, I am the brand and business manager for two of Jamaica's, well, I would say international um, 
speaking speakers so um for crystal tomlinson and recently odetta rocket kerr they are amazing powerhouse women um who have a wealth of information to share so i'm happy to be a part of you know their journey so i do mm. the brand and the bookings and okay. also yeah so and then i've also done social media management and that kind of brand management digital um, management mm. as well um so i've done that as well so that's how the brand building um came okay. about i'm a content creator content strategist so yeah <laughs> that's what's up so do you uh is that like your full-time job well uh so, so okay so so yes in terms of um the the bookings mm -hmm. for for crystal and odetta um yes and then no i'm really um my goal right now is to to monetize my youtube because i like the content creation so that's my goal right now so yeah, so for anybody listening go over to my youtube and watch my channel so that i can get yes. my watch hours off um she has a lot of great videos so i, I watch share yes i do share information over there and just you know inspiration um inspiration information so that mm -hmm. you can you know be be happy healthy and confident in your body um mm -hmm. yeah and if you have questions you can always ask and then i will do a video to answer your questions if it is mm -hmm. you know if not i can answer in the comments if it's something that i believe that other persons would benefit from mm -hmm. i will do a video as well um but yeah the, that's the aim right now because i find that i i was doing a lot of content so i said why not mm -hmm. put hold it somewhere you know like hose it yes. on youtube that people can yes. find it and learn so yes thank so, you yeah. last thing who's your biggest inspiration oh wow gosh <laughs> no listen i'm not okay so i don't have to be honest i don't have one person how yeah. i i am inspired by um the things that i like or want to be the things that i so for example boldness and courage i want that mm. so i'm inspired by persons who display that so for me wow. like my my friend and sister crystal tomlinson and odetta those two women that i work with um they they are an inspiration in terms of their boldness and their courage um and their straightforwardness and stuff like yes. that and then you have persons who i'm inspired by um in terms of knowledge of raw food so for example like aris and then there is ras iwara who is the owner of a raw food restaurant in jamaica um mm. so, it, so so it depends on what i want as so there are different things in my life and different so in terms of having a voice and yes. speaking up you know and so so there are different aspects of my life and then there are different persons who um i'm inspired by in in those you know in those aspects yes. but in terms like of that. one person no so it's hard so, to yeah. do it's hard to condense yeah. it down i understand that's i like your answer though that was i like that bold and courage yes bold um, and thank you so courage. much yeah Stasia, thank you so much for coming today to talk to me. Um, I love watching your YouTube videos and thank looking you at so your much uh, Instagram you. pages. You're so <laughs> vibrant and just, you make me want to skip down the street. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much, so much for having me. Um, I appreciate yes. it. Thank you for having yes. me. And thank you for sharing. Everybody, make sure You're you welcome. go and follow my guest <laughs> at Raw Food Challenge JA and at Stasia Davidson. It will be in the description. So you can just go click on the link after I post this. Make sure you go sign up for her 21 day raw food challenge that starts January 1st. This is going to change your life. She's had so many client testimonials. You don't believe me, just go to her raw food challenge <laughs> JA page and see for yourself. So go, <laughs> so go sign up, make sure you follow her. Also subscribe to her YouTube. Her YouTube, all her information is and in her bio. And watch the videos. Watch the videos. Yes, watch the videos. Yes. And make sure you guys follow me as well. Yes. This is my plant-based page. I also have a regular page, um, which is in my bio for my regular lifestyle artist side. Um, oh, okay. And I also, yeah, I'm an artist. I've been acting for 12 years, doing print ads and, um, and, and commercials and TV shows and 
uh, independent films and stuff. So, and I love to dance, so I'm always posting dance videos. <laughs> but anyway, and I also have a YouTube channel that's that's trying to grow. So I'm you guys no, no, we subscribe don't use the to word me. Here. No, we no, don't no. Use yes, you're right. Trying. You're right. You're right. <laughs> I have a YouTube channel that is growing. Yes. 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 So make sure you guys subscribe to me as well. Everybody share this live with five or 10 of your friends. We want to get the message out there. We want to get that health message out there. Love you, uh, I hope you all, <laughs> and thank you all for joining us today. Thank you. I hope you guys thank are inspired you. Thank by you. her story. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, thank you so much. And uh, what time is it out there in Jamaica? It's in Jamaica, it is. Uh, 407, 407 right? 7, yeah. Because yeah. yeah. it's, it's 107 here. So let's see. Up next, you guys, um, join me Wednesday on the 7th at 1130 a.m. PST. Um, I'll be interviewing Tori Washington, who was a vegan bodybuilder. For all those people who think that vegans Ooh. or plant-based people <laughs> can't get muscles, hello. Y'all join me on Wednesday, and you'll see that we don't lack getting our protein okay <laughs> um he's going to talk right. about we're, we're going to talk about how to get muscles on a raw vegan, uh, on a on a vegan diet and just um his story he's a competitor he's amazing so you guys go follow him too so um let's see i just want to make sure i'm covering everything thank you all for joining you're all blessed and highly favored and you're all destined for greatness have a wonderful day god bless you all thank you stasia so much for joining me thank and you, you have a wonderful day and i'll see you on the gram Thank you. <laughs> All right. You have a blessed day.